Good morning all. A couple of days ago I went to the pound shop and I bought some Christmas lights. And I've got uh, Merry Christmas LED lights. You've got a light for each of the letters in Merry Christmas, which I've added up and it comes to 14. So that was quite a good deal for a pound. And then these two packs, uh, 12 lights in each pack. These ones are green with little Christmas trees. And these ones are white with pine cones. So today I thought I'd play with the green LED tree lights. So let's see what you get for one pound. Well, you get uh, 12 LEDs. Now these are these flat top LEDs. Um, and you get 12 of these little Christmas tree press on things. You also get a battery box. Now I'm going to see if I can find the resistors. Well there are no resistors in the LEDs themselves. You can see that uh, there are four wires here, two coming in and two going out to the next LED. So they're all in parallel. They're soldered directly to the legs of the LED. So let's have a look at the battery box. Okay let's take off the cover. Now inside you can see that the positive terminal goes straight to the switch and the negative terminal to the wire. So there's no resistor anywhere. No resistors. So they're relying entirely upon the internal resistance of the batteries to provide enough resistance to uh, set the current correctly for these LEDs. So let's try a pair of these uh, Wilco Power Plus extra batteries, which I don't think are very... have got much um, power left in them. I think they're a bit flat, basically. Well, they're okay. They're not very bright. So let's go to something a little bit more powerful. Let's try these inner loops. Now these will probably have a lower uh, internal resistance being nickel metal hydride, but of course they're lower voltage. These are 1.2 volts, whereas the Wilco alkalines were, well, nominally 1.5. So let's see what we get with these. Ah, well now they're a lot brighter. I mean, not worryingly bright, but that, yes, that's a lot better with uh, nickel metal hydrides. Now I could try getting a pair of these fully charged. Uh, I might put these in the charger actually and come back to these again later, but I do have another battery which I'd like to try in this unit. These are Energizer AA Lithiums. They're quite old, but they're still in date, 2021. So they have an enormously long shelf life. I've had them about, I don't know, five years, must be at least five years. Um, now the nominal voltage of these is a bit higher than alkaline. These are 1.6 volts. So should we see what these do? Oh yeah, now they're really bright. Again, not to the point that they would actually destroy themselves, but that works really nicely. So perhaps I'll use this with um, these Energizer Lithiums, who knows? Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just cut this battery box off and use a different power source entirely, this little buck converter. So what I'll do is I'll put 12 volts in here and then I'll set an appropriate current, this is upside down, uh, on the uh, buttons and on the display. Now what should we say? Well, we could start at something like 10 milliamps per LED, so 120 milliamps, and then I'm going to start increasing the current, and I'm not going to stop. So there we are, there's the uh, buck converter. Now this is the uh, Ming He model B3603, so it can take up to 36 volts, uh, sorry, give out 36 volts, you can see here in 6 to 40 volts, uh, at up to 3 amps, so we've got plenty of amps to play with. Now I've set this for 5 volts, of course it won't go to 5 volts because it will current limit, and 120 milliamps, 10 milliamps per LED. Now I've stripped these wires, but I don't know which is positive, so I'm just going to use a, a coin cell to see... Oh yeah, that's the other way around, because they're lighting up. So positive is this one on the back. I'll put that into the uh, buck converter. Right, so here we go then. Uh, 5 volts, 120 milliamps, switch on. Yeah, now they're nice and bright. Uh, what have we got? 3.03 .03 volts uh, and 120 milliamps. 
So let's start increasing that and uh, see if we can uh, make these LEDs a bit cross, perhaps. So let's take that up to 250 milliamps. Now you've got to keep dividing by 12. Um, well, 300. What's 300 milliamps divided by 12? Oh, I don't know. Let's just keep going. 400, 500. They're getting brighter. They look like they're getting dimmer, but that's the camera adjusting. Uh, one amp. Let's keep going. 1.5 amps. They seem to be uh, still happy enough. Two amps. Well, that's interesting. Even at the maximum three amps, nothing untoward is happening. What have we actually got? We've got five volts going into these LEDs. Uh, 1.6 amps, they're actually not taking uh, three amps, but they seem fine. Well, that's a disappointment. I can't blow them up. Now, let's leave them on for a while because maybe if they get hot, they'll get cross. And yes, they are starting to flicker a bit. We're drawing 1.5 amps. We've got about 5 volts. They're remarkably resilient, these LEDs. I'm very surprised. And it's all quite warm. Uh, I don't think it's the wires that are warm. No, the wires aren't warm. It's the LEDs that have got warm. But why won't they blow up? One and a half amps? That's completely mad. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll just switch them on and uh, just leave them on. Uh, 1.4 amps, 5 volts. And just leave the camera running and uh, just see what happens. Well, that's interesting. Quite a lot of them are flashing on and off. And I went to some trouble yesterday to, yesterday to build a flashing LED circuit. And it looks like I needn't have bothered because uh, if you pump an amp or so through these LEDs, they flash on and off by themselves. I will leave it a bit longer. Still got five volts and about an amp going through them. They seem to be self healing almost. They kind of fail and then come back to life again. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Now you can't see it on camera very well, but there's one in the middle here which is flashing on and off with complete regularity. That one there, it's almost like it's got an LED flasher circuit on it. That's really weird. Some of the others are just flickering. Some have discolored quite badly. Um, well, that one's gone out. And I would have thought, I wonder why it's drawing less current now. Oh, perhaps because some of the LEDs have failed. But that's at 5 volts. It's actually very remarkable. Well, I'm going to give it another 5 minutes or so, and then I'm going to have to give up, I think.
But this one's definitely the star of the show. I mean, flashing on and off with absolute one second precision. That's like LED blinky. No electronics at all. Amazing. Right, well, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to blow these up with a 3 amp power supply. Is this thing getting warm? Oh yeah, it is a little bit warm. So what have we got? We've still got 5 volts going through these LEDs, or 5 volts across them, and uh, 800 milliamps. Now some of that will be absorbed in this wiring, but the wires aren't warm. They're really not. Let's shut this off for a minute. These LEDs are very warm. I'm concerned that some of them might be very hot if I... They are covered in heat shrink, but yeah, there's nothing sort of burning hot there. Wow, that's very interesting. Um, let's take the current limit down to something a bit more moderate. I don't know about... Is that current? Yeah, that is. 1.5 amps. One amp. I mean, really, these shouldn't be getting more than about 250 milliamps. Let's try 500 milliamps, half an amp. There are quite a lot of flickery ones. Maybe that's a bit high. Let's come down to 200 and 20 milliamps. Well, that stopped them flickering, but there are some duds now. Uh, that one has failed. That one's quite dim. Any failures up here? Not many failures. Most of them are still working. Well, sorry guys. I was hoping for uh, bangs, pops, sparks and a cascade of failure. But it seems that uh, these LEDs at least, a pound's worth of them, are so resilient they can take my power supply Five volts. Maybe if I give them more voltage, actually. That's three amps. Yes, I did limit it to five volts. Perhaps we'll go again with um, a higher voltage. Let's give that a try. Right, now I've got uh, 10 volts uh, voltage limit and 250 milliamps. So let's switch them on. And of course, at 250 milliamps, they're not going to have a problem. So let's start raising that up. Right, so we're back to one amp. Now they're kind of limiting themselves to about 5.06 volts. That's good. Yeah, that could be encouraging. Oh, that switched them off. Uh, okay, well, let's take the current. Oh, the fizzing. Burn out. Yes, they went a decidedly non-green colour. And they're fizzing. What are we at? Uh, 1.7 volts, 1 amp. I can still hear some fizzing, but I think I've killed them now with a bit more voltage. Uh, okay, let's bring the current down and see if any of them are still working. So 200 milliamps, 10 volts. No, they're dead, but no bangs. That's unfortunate. Disappointing, really, isn't it? Merry Christmas! <laughs>